end by talking about the um, Horizon 2020 program on called CAPS, abbreviation for all our lap loss. I, I think uh, this is, I, I want to say that uh, Loretto is uh, remarkable because um, the idea that the European Commission should be funding research of this kind seems to me to be uh, astonishing. Uh, and Loretta is a huge supporter of the work that we're doing. And so uh, I'm very, very glad that she came all the way from Brussels uh, today to talk to us and to tell us about what the uh, Horizon 2020 Annual Commission is doing in this area. All right. Thank you. Is this, is this working? Yeah. So I, I didn't see bureaucrats in that wheel of, I saw decision makers, and they have a wheel of uh, production. So no, um, I've been in research a long time, so I'm a big supporter of investing in research, education, especially at times of crisis. And crisis is because of the innovation challenge that Europe has to do. Um, and if we don't, uh, we will go backwards and not be able to finance my pension. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the older people in the room. So um, I wanted to quickly, I will only take 10 minutes. So I'm here as a funding agency to support your research. There is an opportunity not to miss, which is that we double the money that we had at the time Peer to Peer was selected, largely because the projects are doing remarkably well. So yes, I support them, but also we had excellent results. So this is a good year for champagne and for research projects. Um, Let's drink the money. <laughs> well, that's not going to get you very far, not going to fund my pension, <laughs> let alone Alessia's, uh, the baby's pension in a few years. So, quickly, collective awareness. If you type these two words in a search engine, you will find us easily. And uh, you might want to find us because on April 14th is the deadline for submitting proposals. So I'd like to have a hands up for those who are involved in EU research programs. Which is very good. Any, any, yeah, any ICT or purpose. was. Anyway, are or was is the same. You know about it. Yeah. Hands up those who have no idea how to get involved. Okay, so it's mainly for you guys, but also the others. You have to get together. And this call is about collective awareness platforms for sustainability and social innovation. So the non-profit, the open source, is part of the social innovation and sustainability is about changing your behavior so as to recycle, use less energy, and be in control of your uh, defense, of your expenditures. So quickly, um, you, know, you know about the examples of such platforms. In green, our own. I look at decarbonate, which is collective awareness to reduce carbon footprints. Uh, the green ones are our projects. Airbnb is one of these recycling of couches or beds. Or, or. So our call is to foster understanding of social innovation, creative, multidisciplinary, I'm going to go quickly, mm -hmm. but I told you collective awareness and you get all the information and the deadline is the, the 14th of April, mm -hmm. so you're just in time to get together. Uh, on the info days you'll find other organizations, you have several countries, several organizations, so you could use today and tomorrow to come up with ideas that fit. Does it have to be collaborative? It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not single. Yes, yep. it's, it's uh, on average, it's about two million. It could be one and a half or one million, it depends, but uh, uh, we ask for a mixing of ICT engineers or technologists with at least two non-engineering, non non-technological. So social science, because of the problems. The problems that are addressed are at the level of society. So uh, that's why you need a bigger consortium than one. So minimum number are, of consortium participants? There is no minimum number, but I would say three or four. Uh, 
And there are support actions. And if, if you want to, for example, run conferences such as this one, you could have Fab Labs doing a support action, and all you need is one organization. But um, that's just not research. Uh, that's just so the, the pilots, that's where the biggest amount of funding is, because we'd like to use these ideas and technologies to actually change societies. And so these this pilots will have to include local community and users to enlarge what, what you're already doing. So I would recommend that that part, which is ICT 10 part A. You have to exp to have, have to target it to one of the so A is the most important one for you. Then there's B, which is the more um, theoretic. People were asking me if I fund academics and theory. Well, this is it. This is the, the better understanding of the obstacles and opportunities of collective awareness platforms. Understanding motivations, incentives, sustainable behaviors. W what actually gets people to be healthy, lose weight, walk 2,000 uh, steps a day, or, you know, you, sometimes Internet of Things will give you devices that are wearable and that actually stimulate the knowledge of data to understand yourself and your peers. And peer pressure works quite well. So um, these are some of the issues in the part B. Now, one of the projects I mentioned previously, I, I mean, I didn't mention, you saw it briefly, called Web Cozy, is with the OECD <coughs> and other institutes of statistics, they face a big problem because now you have bottom-up data as opposed to official statistics, which takes years to, to, to be published, but is validated, is credible, is official. And now with big data coming from, uh, from you know, uh, big search, engines, you have this unofficial data which tells you in real time how many people are thinking, doing, buying, geolocation. So this is a big problem for organizations to come up with this, you know, between the bottom up and top down. And that's one of our projects which is, um, is going to host a, a big, uh, big competition on visualization of large data. And it's because it's the OECD, it's going to be in Mexico, and it's really worldwide. Anyway, the ideas there are very controversial because it's about quantifying non-financial, not GDP, but happiness, progress, well-being statistics, which you yourself give out. So I'm just going to take a minute. One of the organizations called AgeWatch uh, gets data on uh, health and uh, economic uh, and poverty of very old women in Africa in rural areas, and how do they do it? Well, they actually give them a free little smartphone, and in exchange, they just have to tap one of these four buttons, health, uh, you know, clean water. And I can't tell you how important it is to have real statistics from the users themselves, which previously would not not be tapped. I mean, these people would be unreachable. So sometimes using smartphones and uh, collective awareness platforms gets you data where you previously had none. That's an example of a B. And uh, C is the digital social platforms. And this one was seen as um, it, it, it's, it's, it's a, this one is where scale matters. You really want to get all the people of a certain age, or people with a mental problem, or it's social networks to help health and aging in, in particular. At least that was the idea behind it. Doesn't necessarily have to be that, but this one is uh, part C. I have a question on yeah, C please. because it's always I find this one very difficult to understand. I've got I do too. A, a different different. I uh, didn't write it. <laughs> it was written by another. Really is, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it it's not, uh, as I understood, it's not building a digital social platform. It's connecting people who already uh, have platforms. Is that it, or what? what, what? So it was actually, I know the person who wrote it, but she lost her job and moved to another organization. And she had in mind old people, old age. Um, but now it's gone to another unit with new people. So Horst Kramer is the the person who what to you talk mean, to. When you say now, you mean like one week ago, two weeks ago? Well, now, right now, yes. I think you're, you'll find, on my last slide, you'll find his email. 
So, so, so is, is this about building a platform that would allow digital social networks, or is it something else? No, uh, these things exist. So mm -hmm. I think it's really uh, connecting users. Mm -hmm. it's, um, okay. But, but um, send your proposal idea to Horst. You'll find his name at the end. And this one is the little, little well, it's the action to support all the others so that you share ideas. Well, we have a lot, we, we expect a lot, so <laughs> there's a lot of ambitious, um, ambitious goals. So what's not in scope? So in the first evaluation, any proposal that did not already have a community actively engaged in trying to get that collective awareness platform running and uh, changing their behavior and um, improving sustainability would not have made it. In fact, only one in 10 proposals got through. So um, not to say, well, I have this idea and uh, you know, by the third month, I'm gonna look for somebody who's interested. That won't make it. You need networks already. You Stop need the, the engaged community. Okay, now what network uh, they use is a different story. Okay, if by network, network is a... I mean, what I specifically need, you need participating organizations that have Correct. on their books 50,000 users yes. doing something. Correct, yeah. that will give you scale. Yeah. Because one of the things we want is to demonstrate network effects, which means that if you do the first 5%, then it takes off. But in order to get the network effects, you really have to, you can't start a new. Yeah. So technology push is not the problem. So that has failed in the past. It's really things that are bottom up and that are citizen oriented and where the data belongs to the citizens or is uh, privacy des designed. Uh, and now the last thing is the most controversial because everybody says, how many social scientists do I need to get? <laughs> and then, <laughs> how many engineers? Did it? So we had, I don't know how many emails on that one. I said, you know, I didn't write that either. That was Fabrizio, but he wanted to make the point that social science and thinking about uh, societal problems is not just a question of engineering. So use the, the skills that exist. Oh, I missed the one on budget. How do I go back? I know that they, they told me the front. Yeah? No, there was one on the budgets, but... Okay, well, that's okay. I'll go for it. Yeah, so this is the key one. Don't leave it to 5 p.m. because the net, you know how the network is full. What happens is you get a proposal number, and then you submit 20 times, and the last one is the valid one, because otherwise, you lose the entire thing. So we already know some of the proposals because they've already got the proposal number. Anyway, these are, this is for experts. There are a lot of people who are expert at submitting proposals. You might use one of the experts. Don't wait till five minutes before the deadline. And, and don't expect that you can do it with an Ubuntu uh, 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 system. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Because uh, you need to, um, you need uh, to enter into PDF forms that only work with plugins uh, in, for, uh, in uh, I don't know, OS and Windows. But it, not it's really hard. So I mean, it's really so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so there are people who are expert who have submitted before, and uh, sometimes it helps to. Yeah. You need to get a pick number, right? How long does Correct. it take to get a pick number? So, pick. You can first you get a proposal in. PIC has to do with the validation of your legal entity. So many, I mean, we've had something like thousands of PICs already. If you're a new company and you just set up, it's not going to be easy. If I tell you that we had to write letters for Nesta too, because Nesta didn't, uh, <laughs> so, and I, I had to write letters saying, you know, they're not going to go bankrupt. You know, <laughs> and I, most of the coordinators of my projects were small entities, took forever. So my answer to that is don't worry, because first you put in your brilliant idea, and if it gets the top marks, it will get the funding, and then there's like three to six months to get the pick validated. And if it's not validated, we will switch to the other partner. Say you have an academic from uh, Imperial College. Well, that 
think it's validated, so you will change the coordinator to that. And the coordinator simply means the bank, right? so the commission has to be sure that the money doesn't disappear because we give all the advance, and we have a good amount of the advance. So is I was it, worried... Is it, is it only the a coordinator that needs a pick? No, all of them. Okay. All of them, but, but if you don't get it in time, we will do a switch of coordinators. I've done that in many cases. And I think um, this is the participant portal. And those are our names. Mine is the first, and uh, Joanna and Horst and Fabrizio. So you, these are the names of the officers. Please. Thank you. Is there a, um, in, I don't know, with FP7, there was idealist, and they're probably up to Horizon right. 2020. Yeah. Is there a marketplace for you know, putting your idea up there and finding out if anyone wants to participate in that idea? Not in, not so advanced. ideally still works. So if you're yeah. a partner from Lebanon, yeah. okay, I would say go to idealist because there's a lot of, you know, they, they are a matchmaking. Yeah. Yeah. And there are other and platforms it, like that that would work with caps? Not specifically. I think that you should go where I told you, the co collective awareness. And anybody who comes to an info day is really, we've had many information days. Yeah with at least you know, five, 50 to 100 of people. Yeah. And those are the people, partners, who are interested. If, if we're challenge you, challenged to travel geographically, is it possible to, to interact um, over the web with people yes. that previously? And where do we, where do we interact? What's well, I don't know. I would start from peer to peer is a pretty good project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would start Absolutely. with some of them. Because their organizations are, are very active. organizations, uh, all, all, all projects uh, they are funded they are, uh, have websites and they all list the partners involved and they will also list the email of the coordinator. So it's not difficult to find people, I think, it, it, on, on the web. It's a bit of Googling. Uh, well, other I think questions. That's I'm running, sure, sure there are many other questions. Running out of time, but I'll be join, here during join lunch. Us for lunch. Uh, there's a, there's a column there called EU funds, and the Loretta will be uh, there to, to answer those questions. So Thank go for it, indeed. because this is the biggest budget we've had in a long time. It's designed for just the right communities that are represented in this room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to move to something that uh, CAPS has funded. Uh, so, hello, I, over to you, Ian, before we go to the room. Can you get this uh, sorted for you? Is that one? Yes. There we go. Hello, Ian. 10 minutes? Okay, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... Thank you very much to come here. Uh, this is a fantastic audience. And I'm, I was uh, quite nervous at the beginning in the presentation, but uh, after the, the questions and the, and the debate, I am even more. Because <laughs> 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 I'm here to present uh, a federated <laughs> platform, so I don't know how to say it <laughs> by now. OK, I, I, I do my best. So, Swell is a work part from the P2P Bali project. Um, in the project, we uh, try to, to provide a collaboration application for CBPP uh, communities. Uh, we would like to build a software to uh, facilitate the communication and the collaboration in, in common based population communities. So uh, we face a, a big issue that's the lack of uh, uh, software alternatives to build this kind of uh, platform. So we have uh, tried to provide a, a solution for that. So nowadays we live in a real-time collaboration <coughs> world. Uh, I can, I can say for sure that all of you are using uh, cloud services like uh, Google Drive with all these uh, services, Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, uh, and 
how do you can work uh, from or on different places uh, with the same documents. Uh, you also have, apart from the text documents, you have spreadsheets. Uh, you have another alternative uh, software like Etherpath or Titanpath. I don't know if you are with something. Even lately, a lot of uh, companies are showing interest in this kind of uh, solutions. Uh, for example, Dropbox and, uh, presents uh, some months ago uh, collaborative uh, features in the, in the platform. So we can say that there is a, a, a increasing interest uh, in the companies to provide this kind of services. And of course, we have uh, communication tools that are being using in mobile platforms. So this is another change driver. Almost everything is happening in, in the mobile world. But uh, and we also have an uh, ecosystem of federated services or this trigger of P2P, not federated. Uh, but we have uh, well-known email, we have chat, video conference, we have uh, federated services for identity, um, uh, for social activity, micro -blogging. But we don't have uh, But what if you want to build applications uh, with collaborative uh, services inside? Uh, well, right now, uh, you don't have alternatives, open source or free alternatives, to build this kind of application. Uh, the most uh, relevant uh, examples are Google Drive Real Time or the Suite particularly the Google Drive Real-Time API. Uh, another famous uh, alternative is WebRTC. Um, we have a small, smaller project like Shared KS. But all of them, apart from being closed, uh, so no, not all of them, but all of them have some issues. You, can, you have a centralized architectures for Google Drive, for say TS, uh, you have closed services. Google Drive is very good, but it's closed. It's, it's, uh, you don't have the, the power to of having the data. Um, another issue is the, the limitation of features they provide you and the lack of extensibility of, of the platforms. For example, WebRTC provides. That